Yes, we are back, but things are a little bit different to the start of this video. In fact, it's gonna be a very different video, this one, because it's not daytime, as you can see. And the reason for that is we are waiting for some visitors. You might remember from last week's video, I mentioned that we were getting from visitors, another couple who do YouTube and they've been converting their Sprinter van. So we are waiting out here on the drive for them to arrive, Otis and SJ, they will be here soon. Also, I've got no van. It's away with James having my driver's seat lowered and that should also be arriving back tonight. Then we are not going to be looking at doing some work on the van today. I'm hoping we'll get a sneaky peek around their van because it's finished. Even though on their YouTube channel, it's not finished yet. But we'll see what they say and whether we can have a bit of a van tour. Then after that, once those guys have been here for a couple of days and popped off, Ella, John and I, we're heading down south to Birmingham. We're gonna go and stay in a hotel for the night and then we are going to the camper van and caravan show at the Birmingham NEC. And I am so excited. But for now, let's wait for these guys to show up, shall we? Right, I hear a van coming down the street. This has got to be them. Yes. <laughs> no way. Hello, hello. Hi. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hi. Hi. Nice to see you. <laughs> you too. Oh, I know you already. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Oh man, nice to find you. Yeah, you too, you too. This is Gaia. Wow, not yeah, subtle at all. <laughs> I better close that in case, because uh, the cat's in yeah, there. We're here in the flesh. Ta da! Flesh. It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. It is, because I just totally feel like I know you already. <laughs> I've watched that we've we've seen this. Yeah, yeah, this like area. I vision now how like, you got your shots from up there on top of the roof. <laughs> Clipped like on up there, it oh, was one of them. Yeah. Oh, cool. Balancing off the roof of the van and clipping, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> yeah, cool. Okay, what we're going to do is go inside, catch up, get to know each other a little bit, and we're going to pick up with you guys probably tomorrow. See you in a bit. <laughs> Hello, good morning. How are we? Yes, it is another day, and we spent about four hours yapping and yapping last night and getting to know each other. It was lovely. What a nice couple. And we've got so much in common. Not only are they YouTubers, they've got a sprinter van that they've been converting and they're also jaded with society like myself and want to get out and travel and explore some more. Uh, what we're doing now is we're taking a little drive up the road and we're going to go to that car park. You'll recognise it, it's the one that I use in my thumbnails quite a lot. And we are getting a van tour a full exclusive van tour. Their channel is nowhere near the finished van yet, so it's very kind of them to allow us to do that on the channel. Of course you are gonna like these guys. Of course you need to get over to their channel and subscribe as well, because you're gonna be able to binge watch from them buying the van and them building it so far. They've had a few months off because they've been busy getting set up with their lives, but they promise, and this is incentive for them, that they're going to start editing like crazy and bashing out videos, maybe one or two every week. So if you get caught up now, you're going to have plenty to watch over the coming months. Uh, and then in the future, it's looking like these guys are up for traveling with me and Sally and the kids and just getting out there into Europe and going in convoy, which is going to be absolutely fantastic. Right, we're pulling up to the car park now. They're just behind me and uh, we'll make sure there's some room. And let's have a little chat to these guys and have a look around their van. So guys, this is obviously Otis and SJ and I'm going to leave it up to them to tell you a little bit about their van and why they're doing what it is they're doing. Go for it guys. Hello everybody. What's up? So as AD said, Otis, SJ, this is our Sunny Jim is what this we've called her. This is Sunny Jim. This is the van that we've been converting for the best part of, well, we've been doing it for uh, about a year and a half, 18 months, but we were only working on her for about a year. We took a six month hiatus to go and do some work for a charity. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna show you around. We, we haven't shown anybody this van. We're a bit behind on our vlog. We've recorded a bunch of footage, but we've not yet posted it all. When he says a bit, we basically, as, as we are now, in this time right now <laughs> oh, on the vlog <laughs> on the vlog no but right now oh what's on youtube is we've just finished our front doorstep yeah that's how far up behind we don't even have floor yet yeah so we're behind so we bought sunny gym from a girl in hereford yeah. somewhere um it was a facebook um it was a facebook advertisement we got really excited i really wanted a yellow van funny enough we met another couple like 
from Essex down in Cornwall. We met them in Cornwall, this tiny little place, and they viewed this van. And the guy said he walked in and went, nope. And what, passed, and passed away from it. Us we, numpties, we bought it we straight like, away, snapped it up. Van. In the bank, here's the money. See you later. Ben. Got us as a ben. We didn't take her for a test drive. We didn't ask many questions at all. Pretty much ran our hands through and was like, yeah, this will do. Yeah, this will do. <clears throat> and it was part converted as well. So it had insulation, two windows, ceiling fan, skylight, floor. sleeping pods and floor, all of which we ripped out, every single part of it. We found five leaks. Yeah. We had a hole up there that like we had to fix. Hole, like... I could stick a chisel through yeah. and see it from the other side. I give you the, 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 the footage of it, but you could literally stick a chisel. Because she had aluminium foil tape across the van and we were like I think we asked about it and she said I can't remember what it's she fine said she was it. like yeah it's fine like you just take that off yeah and we didn't even think to question oh maybe that's a, a red flag so many red flags were but anyway up. But none of it. Anyway, yeah. We, we got ended there up though. Buying her, and we ended up spending the best part of four to six months like ripping her back to what she would have been if we just bought an empty panel van, which I wish we did. Yeah. But it's kind of like Pimp My Ride. It's kind of like, you know, we've renovated her, we've given her so much love. We are the third couple, third people to have her and try and convert her. And we are the third to. The first. With the, with the first. With the first to finish her. Yeah. And we got her done. Her home. Yeah. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to show you around, show you what we've done with the conversion and go over a little bit with our why. I know AD, said, uh, AD did a video recently of his why to, you know, to sell up, to move into a van, to go traveling. And I think a big part of it, obviously we've got our own individual reasons that kind of cross over with one another. But one of the biggest reasons for me was uh, I spent 14 years in the same town that I was born, doing the same job, doing the same thing day in, day out. And I was, I was going crazy. Uh, I couldn't cope with it anymore. And I decided that I needed to do something big, something brave, something scary, something outside of my comfort zone. And that hit the nail on the head doing something like this not only in terms of traveling and being outside of your hometown and exploring but also getting my hands on diy type stuff trade craft because i'd never done any of it you know i was the first person to be like no that's beyond my capabilities i'm going to outsource that and get somebody else to do it but now having built this we've both built up some some skills in areas that we didn't have before we've proved to ourselves that we're capable of doing something if we put our mind to it and you know we're coming out the back end of it now having done it almost like it was a blur like mm -hmm. i don't know how we got up every day when it was when we were fixing the leaks and taking off those sleeping pods at the back Ooh! it's coming it's coming i can see you i can see you oh, oh and re-putting them back on and having to shave them down and they weren't the right side. Like we everything so felt, well. I know, I don't know how we were being so Looking positive. Back at the vlogs, like, yeah, let's go <laughs> take apart our van and put more rust stuff on the floor. Yeah, we've not shown this to anybody except friends and family so far. Not even really that many friends. It's just mostly been family. Couple, yeah. So AD is the first person to kind of see it um that we're, we're we're like oh like is it good like have we done an all right job um, already seeing where ad's at with his build we're like cool blimey governor this is like <laughs> this good. man is this meticulous is <laughs> <laughs> it, it's, it's, you know it's almost like, no, i'm don't, excited don't <laughs> should we have a look let's go and have a look, have a look. Come on let's in. take you in here we go All right, first things first, as you come in, you've got this lovely uh, step that we built, which was the first thing we made because you need to know where your floor's coming to, so you can't do your floor with your ply until you know what you're doing over this step. So we got two cubbies, they were just battened out, and then this nice doormat thing. Um, we nicked this from Self Built Stories, was where we nicked that. This is where we're at on the vlog so far. Yeah. We've just built that as of this moment. As of this moment. And as you can tell, it's got, because this was the first thing we built coming in and out. Because I got too excited. I shouldn't have done the cat coconut mat in. I was like, I want to get it finished. And we I wanted a finished product. A year of us treading in and out. Of, you know, and as it happens, you've got the first thing that we ever did. And then you've got the last thing that we ever did, which was this box. Yeah. Um, that was done maybe about two weeks ago. That was one of the finishing things, which I also got a nasty chisel cut from. Mm -hmm. um, 
So there, that's that. We got the bulkhead. So in 80s one, this is like you can walk through. We did um and ah about being able to walk through. We didn't have a dog when we decided to do a locked bulkhead. Now that we've got a dog, we probably would have made this an open space and got rid of one of the seats so he could sit down there. But you can't win them all. Life takes you down certain routes and whatever. Overhead cubby in there with light that is currently absolutely stackers. We're probably going to rearrange that at some point. There's like everything from chess games to, uh, you know, our camera equipment, tripods, things like that. Then we've got these cupboards, which um, SJ came up with the idea for these. We got this wood for free from a um, timber yard, just it was in one of their dustbins. So we nicked a bunch of that. We didn't nick it, they gave it to us. Rattan with just ply behind it. And then they're on these pretty cool hinges that you can get from Screwfix that um, they stay open. You don't need the gas struts or anything. So we went for them and they they just close close up against that. So there's them. Five yeah. yeah. Maxi fan. I'm just going to take you from front to back. I think that makes the most sense. So we've got the maxi fan up there. That all works and it's hunky dory. My favorite part of the van, the drop leaf, which is just amazing for that extra room when you're cooking you know to be able to use this place to serve up or whatever and also serves as kind of nice desk if you wanted to work or something and look out at the views so there's that we've got our hob here we've elected to not have an oven so we've only got this hob which literally ran out of gas yesterday so i can't demonstrate you it working it works at home but this is where our bin and gas tank live in here, which obviously is the feed for the cooker. Um, I know a lot of van lifers don't fit the clickers, but we fitted the clicker yeah. on the 240 volt. But I know a lot of people don't bother with that. Because you can just do it with a lighter. Yeah, why not? So we've got the clicker. Woo. Um, one of my favorite things that we bought from Trago <laughs> was this, which we did not know the size, but it literally slots between our sink and our thing. It was one of my favorite things that ever happened. The control panel. Oh yeah, control panel. So we got um, living room light, oh, well, kitchen and living room light, there and there. That's an LED for under here. Um, that's for our water pump. That is for our diesel heater, which is down there. And then that's for our fan, the remote for our fan. Um, which we have as well in here, we've hidden it all. So all the cables are behind this cupboard here, which yeah, we'll get later. Um, again, these are just a carbon copy of the ones over here. Sink with running water, which we have hot and cold. The hot is on a fused spur here, and we've got an electrical water heater down there from Bobil Vans, which is a 240 volt um, heater. You can get 12 volt and 240 volt, but we went for the the former plug socket there plug socket at the back and there's a plug socket down there lots of storage so we've got our cutlery drawer and that's on soft close and then we've got under the kitchen lots of storage again we haven't sorted through this yet this is a bit of a we just threw everything in um, and we, we've got like... A bottle of pee? <laughs> <laughs> Where is it? Yeah, don't look at that. Don't worry about that. It's too dark. Don't worry about that. <laughs> um, wardrobe, which was all man-made. Um, we made each individual little... I mean, the whole thing was man-made. Yeah, though. true. That was a real... That was your first, like, big... That was my one. first big project. Actually, the side probably, but that was like... A I don't know. I don't know why the wardrobe seems so much more like a woodwork project, but just seeing it come together, like some of the two sides, Otis, Otis described the um, because our walls all go like that, mm -hmm. which in hindsight is so much harder. Yeah. Like I can see why people do that, but you do lose a good like foot of room, don't you? Mm -hmm. So it's, yeah, and we've actually I bought these handles from Timu. That was we tried ordering stuff from Timu. I don't really recommend them, but they were pretty good. Mm -hmm. But we salvaged, we got this kitchen for free on Facebook, and we salvaged one of the fronts to make those two drawers. Yep. And salvaged some of this wooden to make the handle, which is, I don't silly, but it's my favourite part of the whole thing. Yeah. Like, oh man, I love that. It's so cute one and dinky. <laughs> um, and, and we didn't have any vision on what this van was going to look like. I know a lot of people go for like white and um, like modern. 
I didn't know what I wanted. I know I loved like wood color. In original, originally, I wanted um, like the Scandinavian look, which is like just wood everywhere. Which is why we have that. left the ceiling like this, because we kind of like that vibe. Well, so we bought this wood from Juicens, which has some really nice grains in it. And then the other stuff we bought, the walls, were from a cheaper place. So it was all just looked a bit pinky. It just didn't look very nice and it looked really dark in here. My auntie had some leftover paint, so I was like, oh, slap a bit of paint on the walls and it really made it come together. Yeah. Then when we got the kitchen, it all just kind of came together. We kind of followed the cream and the wood kind of look. It looks quite cosy, I think. I think so, yeah. I think we've, we've done a blinding job. Yeah. And then if I take you up over here into the bedroom, which we've got quite a high bed, so we've got a lot of storage underneath in the um, boot. We've got a shelf up here, which we've got, a lot of this stuff is Velcroed down. So that's Velcroed down, little plant. These don't come off. They're on like sticky mats. That's where we put our laptop at night to watch things if we want to watch things like YouTube, etc. Mm -hmm. This was made by SJ's auntie. Again, that's like Velcroed on as well. So it's just a little bit of decor. And then we've got these sort of extra room sleeping pods, which you, they were black on the outside. And that gives you you know you can get your head in there and i can get my feet on the other end and we've got led lights in there as well on both sides feet top and bottom and then we've got the bedroom light up the top as well if we want that room and uh, that light in the center of the room and then we have our rather pathetic and dinky skylight um comparably uh, which we, we, we really do wish that we went that much bigger because it would be awesome to be up here and have that much skylight the Celebi, again, you can't win them all. We also wish that we'd peeled off the cellophane when we yep. first bought it. Because me being me, I was like, oh, let's not take off any of the cellophane until we're done. I'm thinking, oh, we've really done in like two months, so it's going to be fine. Um, a year later, went to go and peel off the plastic. It is <laughs> fried on by itself. I'm up there with a scraper. I've scraped the plastic now. So now I look up and I'm like, aww. Plastic and scrapes. Yeah. <laughs> no clear view of the sky, so that's the only kind of bummer. Yeah. I'm thinking there's potential that we could change it for a bigger one, maybe in the future. We could. We'll you see. can. You yeah. Can. And that's it. There's only really the um, we have we do have a plug socket there as well, mm -hmm. but that is pretty much everything. Um, we've got a few things that we still want to do. A few amendments. We're still, you know, living in her and figuring out what it is that we want to do how we want to have things organized best for us. And I think that is something to remember if you're going to do your own van conversion, don't do an us and not plan it in any way, shape or form. We did no CAD design, we did nothing, no 3D modeling. We, we literally went with the flow with most of it and we were like, oh, okay, we're, we're going to need a plug socket there. Let's run that wire. And then, um, yeah, we, one thing that we wish we planned on for more was thinking about where we were going to put stuff so that we knew what we needed in that arena. So like when you're thinking about where you want to put your cups, you might want to put something that holds them nicely rather than they just live in a cupboard at the bottom. You can't put anything on top of those cups. So mm. you haven't got good storage within your storage, if that makes sense. So if you are doing a van conversion, maybe think about that. That would be my <laughs> number one tip, I guess you would call it. Yeah. What would be your number one tip? Hmm. Don't have any stuff. <laughs> if you like stuff, if you want to live in a van, like I wanted to live in a van, but I have loads of crap, and I had loads of crap, and just like, and Otis just did, ditched his stuff pretty sharpishly, and he didn't have a lot of stuff to begin with. I'm looking at my stuff, and I'm like, how am I going to get this in the van? Like, this is not going to happen. I've, I, we have sold a lot of things, and actually, let me just take you to the booth. So at the moment, we've still got uh, uh -oh. exactly. <laughs> it's carnage. At the moment, we basically got. Don't mind me, don't mind me. <laughs> These are very important shoes, they keep us warm. So I actually slept in this um, one night when I went for a walk in the whole pedal. Um, this is part of the stuff because we're still selling things on eBay. Yeah, we won't go over everything, but... What I'm basically saying is when you actually move into a van, this becomes your life a little bit. Plus we have a huge dog that eats a kilogram of meat every two days or something. Yeah. So we were given this amazing fridge freezer that plugs in. It doesn't actually use that much power. It's pretty good. Um, that means we can freeze more stuff. That's my crap in there that I'm selling. 
about half of that has got a gut won't be in here yeah, exactly. um, yeah. so we are going to have that a lot clearer but oh yeah that was it so just quickly to go over we have our full electrical system over there mm -hmm. which is a 1200 um, watt inverter DC to DC charging um, we have the solar uh, Orion smart P MPPT controller or whatever it's called fuse board and then we've got a 230 amp fogstar drift battery which yeah is pretty good and then on the water side which is all hidden by the way i've like plied everything out and just put little access holes so that we can still get to things um we've got the basic 20 psi sure flow pump that most people seem to get an accumulator and then we've got a 105 liter water tank which also think about what water tank you get because we barely got it in i mean like if you look underneath at where our aluminium bars are the top of it is like here we can barely get the lid off or on but luckily we did our own um water inlet from here like an internal water inlet so that just it's flows just down and in built this to just make the back look you know it just really looks so lovely and beachy somewhat more presentable towards the end i was so over woodwork i'd help and hold things and sand i did all the painting and things like that but woodwork <laughs> honestly it's tough yeah if you're going to build a van take a woodworking course first yeah. <laughs> that's what i'd recommend as well but when you're actually moving in like you know we were actually we we're when you're moving into a van for real to live in it you know we've got a filing cabinet for all our things you know our whole life is in this van right now so it's like it is crazy how much stuff you feel like i don't have that much stuff when you try and get into a van it's like Cool, blimey, I've got a lot of stuff. Yeah, it quickly fills up. So, it quickly fills up. Yeah, it does. So just thinking about the basics of what you need, like I used to be obsessed with having clothes and shoes and whatever, and now I'd, I'd, this is like the least belongings I've ever had in my life. Yeah, it really, it really makes you prioritise what's important to you in your life and what you want to aim at mm. and what do you need to facilitate that and only bring what you need to facilitate that. And that's it. That's all, that's all you need. You know, you don't realistically you don't need a lot of stuff in this life and i think we kind of wanted to go for a more minimal um existence like less of a footprint in terms of the amount of things that we had and you know going and buying things from shops or going on amazon and buying and buying and buying and like Just you know, getting meaning. materialistic yeah and it all, it's all pretty meaningless like for us what became important wasn't what we had or the things that we were able to go back to in in our home that we had our flat that we had in hemel hempstead we wanted it, it became paramount it was experiences it was travel it was seeing the sunset seeing the sunrises seeing different animals seeing different forests different trees different beaches everything that is free in this world yeah you know except that we live in a material world where we've we've spent all our savings doing this you know like we have no idea what's going to happen in the future we're, we're obviously hoping our youtube one day brings us money it will Bring us money, manifest maybe, maybe it. Maybe not put that in, it sounds like, but, <laughs> but it's true, you know, we... No, you, what, what you want is you want to be able to um, make a living from something that you're passionate about, exactly. which no father out there wouldn't want for their daughter or son. So it's absolutely okay for you to want that for yourself, believe in that for yourself, and go and get it. Yeah, go get it. So that's it. This is, this is Sunny Jim, <laughs> and that was our van tour. MTV Cribs. Big up life and childhood. <laughs> MTV Cribs. All right, guys, we're going to leave it there. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. A bit of a different video today. We haven't done a van tour in a long time. Next week, we are going to be taking you to the NEC. I know I said it might be this video, but it's not. Just the way it is. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and we will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye. You can. <laughs> <laughs>